Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Lua, and maybe good evening. It was my honor to present our work in this conference. Uh, my name is Zhen Hong from SKLGP, the University of Technology. Our topic is probabilistic hazard, hazard assessment on last night induced river jamming. And this work is a collaboration with master student Wang Sun, Professor Li Qianbing, and uh, Professor Fan Xuanmei. So China is one of the countries with most nice night dam uh, disasters. Two successive nice nights occurred in Baigou village in 2018, damming the Jinsha River on two occasions. It affected a large number of people and caused a huge property loss. Nice night induced river damming, risk assessment, and management is one of the main means of disaster prevention and uh, mitigation. So the risk of nest nine induced river damage refers to the expected loss caused by the occurrence of potential nest night in the future. It includes four probabilities and one consequence. They are the probability of the occurrence of the nest night, the probability of a point being submerged the probability of elements at risk being at the point and the vulnerability of the elements at risk. So the probability of risk barrier lake water level exceeding a certain threshold venue at a certain point will be discussed here today. It could be an indicator of the hazard of nest induced river jam. <coughs> Nest night induced river dam header assessment involves at least three problems we consider. So they are how to quantify the uncertainties, how to determine the input parameters, and how to improve the computational efficiency. So that's the reliability analysis, Bayesian back analysis, and the multi response triggering surrogate model I introduced here. So our theory is that the past is the key to the future. And our method is from the probabilistic back analysis of past nest night to the probabilistic prediction of future nest night induced river dam. So first, we construct the nest night run out simulation model based on basal resistance model. It includes two key parameters so they are the friction coefficients and the turbulence coefficients. They are all considered as random variables in this study. So then the model can simulate the run out process of the next night and output the dep uh, deposition depth of each point of the next night. Accurate estimates of the input parameter as the key to reasonably predict the runout behavior of the next night. So that we calibrate the two random variables using Bayesian back analysis based on the observed deposition depth of the past next night to obtain the posterior distribution of random variables. The key step in this back analysis method is to construct the likelihood function using the observed and simulated deposition depth of the nest night. Then, if a potential nest night is similar to the past nest night, the back analysis results can be used as an indicator for the probabilistic prediction of future nest night induced river jam. To do that, a performance function here should be constructed, considering the Deposition depth and together with the Markov chain monotomous simulation to estimate the probability of nest night dam height exceeding a given threshold value. Finally, to improve the computational efficiency, the active learning multi response triggering model is used here to surrogate the original performance function. This model provides an explicit explicit approximation to the runout simulation model 
therefore, will significantly reduce the computational time. This is the implementation process of our work. Uh, so in the beginning, we collect input random variables and the pre and the post sliding themes of all the next night considered. Then update the random variable using the <coughs> information observed in the first next night. Thereafter, the updated random variable are used to conduct the damn high uh, exceedance probability of the signal last night and validate the accuracy of the proposed method. Meanwhile, the information observed in the signal last night can be used to further update the random variable and to predict the potential last night induced river damming event in the future. This is a Baijiu last night. It is located on the western back of the Jinsa River, Jin, Sichuan, and uh, Tibet. And we can see here, this is the next night, and this is the dam, and this is the Jinsa River. So we observed two uh, successive last night induced river damming events in 2018. The first dam height is about 36 meters, and the second dam height is about 61 meters. We can see the follow village upstream. The river was submerged twice. This is the three dimensional numerical model for the two slides and their performance function, respectively. So, the prior information of red and barbs are collected from a worldwide database I proposed by, by Google. Then we can compute their means, standard deviation, distribution type, and correlation coefficient. So we take the first slide as observation. Seven observation points are selected for the first slide. They are located on the border of the depredation area. So using the Bayesian back analysis, the random variables can be updated. We can see that this is the prior information, and this is the updated information. So you can see that their means are shifted, and their standard deviations are reduced. To conduct the probabilistic prediction of the same slide, we have to construct the surrogate models first. Thousands of surrogate models are constructed, and most of them, of their coefficients of determination, are found to be larger than. Uh, 0.95, which means that the approximation accuracy of the surrogate model is acceptable. Then the probability of raised barrier lake water level exceedance curve, this curve the red one, can be generated. It is found that the probability of raised barrier lake water level exceeding 60, 65, and 70 meters are about 92%, 73%, and 35%, respectively. And also, we can project this exceedance probability onto the satellite image. Here, we can see the, here, this, this picture, we can see the three sigma confidence interval. So, uh, and we can see the black line and uh, the purple line, they are the upper and the lower bound of the uh, interval. That means our prediction bound. And here we can see the yellow line. It is the observed zone. And the, the blue one, it is a, a three uh, theoretical submerged zone. So it is required to see that both theoretical and observed results are located in our predicted bound. Which, which implies that the proposed method has a good prediction performance. Then we can conduct sequential Bayesian back analysis and predict the future NASA induced river dam event. <coughs> so, first, we take the same slide as observation. And again, to update the random variables using the information observed in the same slide, here we use 10 observation points. I mean, to use their depredation depth. Using the Bayesian method, the random variables are further 
updated and their standard deviations are further reduced. This will improve our prediction confidence and provide a reliable hazard assessment result. So we conducted a site investigation of the bike last night in October 2020 and found two potentially here. This first one, the second one, two potentially unstable rock mars. We name it B1 and B2. Their volumes are about 2 and uh, 7.3 uh, meter cubic meters. So we consider three scenarios. They are the senior of each rock mass and their combination. <laughs> so again, the surrogate models are constructed for the three scenarios to improve the computational efficiency. Here we can see that the performance are acceptable because the green kind of uh, means a good approximation. Now we can estimate the distribution of red uh, barrel lake water level and uh, their exceedance curve for the three scenarios and also to obtain their three sigma confidence interval. The computed results can also be projected onto the centralized image. Here is the result of the scenario one. The figure on the left shows the barrel lake depth along the river, the purple and the blue one. The figure in the middle shows the potential submerged area in the Bolo village and the uh, the figure on the right uh, shows <coughs> the details around the Bolo village government. This, po this point is a government building. The blue and the black line shows the three sigma confidence interval. And the red line shows the most probable submerged area as its exceedance probability is 50%. This is the probability prediction result of the thickness scenario. And uh, the figure on the right shows the details. And uh, this is a computed result for the scenario three. <coughs> Sorry. And also, we can estimate the three sigma confidence intervals for the barrel length, the ultra storage volume, and the number of submerged houses in the Bolo village. The results can be directly used for the same making of NASA induced river damming, disaster prevention, and uh, mitigation. <clears throat> so a brief summary, we propose a Bayesian back analysis method to, count, to calibrate the input parameter and improve their reliability. We constructed a, a probability model to evaluate the net net reduced river dam hazards. We used the multi-response screening surrogate model to improve the computational efficiency. So the computed results can be used for risk assessments and uh, insurance. <clears throat> and also there are Many problems should be <coughs> sorry uh, should be addressed in the future. For instance, to identify the nest night around the river, to determine the volume of the, of the nest night, and to conduct the dam bridge risk assessment. Okay, that's all about our work. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. <coughs>